Hello, welcome back. You know, we have made some fantastic progress with the categories thing. I like the navigation and all of that. I think it's very cool. Um, however, uh, I think we can do better. I think we can do a whole lot better than this. So in the next two videos, I'm going to show you how to build a drag and drop sortable feature. And the idea is that the owner will be able to just grab onto something and drag it into position and it will change the position of the categories, okay? That's the vibe. That's the vibe. Now, sorting things is something that you will use probably in every website. I mean, you could have a drag and drop for the navigation. You can have it for the categories like here. You can have it for all sorts of things, okay? So we are going to make this uh, fully transplantable. In other words, when we build this once, you'll be able to copy the code and easily transfer it into any website that you want, okay? So this is some really cool stuff coming up here. I'm going to open up manage.php. Now that's on store categories, okay? That's on store categories. And right in here, remember how I said that in view files you can only do ifs and loops? Well, that's not really true because we are using HMVC. We can say echo modules run and then we'll say store categories draw sortable list, okay? And we're going to pass in the parent cat ID, okay? We're going to pass in the parent cat ID. Now notice, if we echo out the parent cat ID, I'll comment this out, if we do that, uh, we do get an error message. However, it's okay if we go to store, categories, manage, you can see that we already have the parent category coming in. So all we have to do is pass that on to the data variable. And look at this. We now have a parent cat ID. See how it says zero here? And it'll say one here, okay? And that's really all we need to build a sortable list thing, okay? Now, this table here is going to be deleted. This will soon be ancient history, the table. But I'm going to keep it there for the moment, just so we know what's happening. So let's copy this draw sortable list, and let's paste up here, like this. And it's passing in parent cat ID, okay? Now notice the underscore here, so it's a private thing that we're doing here, right? And just like the manage file, the whole thing is going to start with a query. I'm going to borrow that query because it came in quite handy. Get where parent cat ID equals parent cat ID. And then I'm going to say this, load view sortable list. And we'll pass in the data array, okay? So let's make the sortable list view file. Sortable list.php. And instead of doing a table, we're going to make it one of those uh, lists, you know, just an ordinary list. So here we go. And uh, we'll say, actually, do you know what? Let's just copy from this thing here because this is actually pretty cool. Let's just copy this. Might as well make life easier, okay? Uh, so we'll go into PHP and that's good. For some reason it's done a big crazy space, so I'll bring it back a bit. Let's do the same here. Okay, and uh, let's do that. Right, so we do the list thing and then we come out of PHP. Something like that. And uh, that uh, should be that, okay, cat title. So let's refresh, let's have a look. Sorry, row cat title, there we go. Okay, so we have a nice uh, uh, unordered list here, everything looks kind of cool. Or does it? You see, I actually think that this looks kind of rubbish. So what we'll do is we'll say class equals sort, and then I'm going to add in some style up here, just some custom style stuff. And I'll make a sort class, 
and we're going to say list style is none. And what does that do? Gets rid of those little dots, okay? Next, I'm going to say border uh, one pix. Let's have it something like 111 solid. Let's refresh. Okay, actually that color is a bit crazy. Let's go with CCC. Okay, that's a bit more like it. Uh, let's change the color to, oh gee, sorry. Let's change the color to 999. Uh, let's add a little bit of padding, shall we? We'll have padding of about 10 pixels. And let's refresh. Okay. Okay, that's kind of starting to look okay. I don't like the color. It's 333. I think that's uh, the same color as these things. So that's cool. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'll say margin bottom four picks like this, okay? Okay, so that's what they're going to get. Uh, they're going to see this here. Actually, let's make the border a bit darker, shall we? Right, okay, that's cool. So when they come on, this website owner is going to be able to click and drag. That's the whole idea, okay? Now, I want them to know that this is draggable as soon as they look at it. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a look at this Janux thing again. And uh, what am I looking for here? I'm going to have a look at the icons. And... There is a sort icon, now that's not it. I think it's called FA icon sort. There it is there, okay? So that's what we're looking for here. Uh, so I'm going to go I class equals FA icon sort. Close the I, save. And if we refresh. Oh, gee. Maybe not. I apologize for that. FA icon sort ah sorry it's icon dash sort we do no need for the FA thing right so I'll save that let's have a look Okay, so they can now see that this is draggable. See, we have a little sort icon. It's all gloriously, gloriously cool. Um, let's add in the subcategories thing at least and maybe some other stuff if we can. So I'll add in this parent cat title thing because that was uh, kind of cool. Let's just do that. That would be that. And then we'll add in... Uh, this thing here with the subcategories. Let's just copy all of this code and we'll paste that in. It's probably going to look a mess, but you know, it's a start. Okay, so if we go to store categories, guitar, five categories, that's kind of cool. Um, now, actually, five subcategories. Okay, that's good. Now, if the number of subcats is uh, is less than, then it's it's doing this echo in a little space thing, and I'm not sure if that actually looks so cool. So I'll just make it a space like so. Do that. Okay, so uh, I actually think that I can probably live with that for the moment. So they click on that, it does that. Yep, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Um, we've got an edit button here, but I think we'll take, we'll have it so that. How shall we do this? Shall we do a button or shall we make this clickable? Um, let me just think. Nah, we'll do the we'll do the edit button. That's what we'll do. Okay, we'll do the edit button. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. So uh, let's just do that, shall we? Let's 
Okay, so we've obviously got a few changes before this is perfect. Um, now actually, why did I not do that in the first place? Right, okay. <laughs> okay. Right, I think that's going to do us for this video, folks. I think that's going to do us. So, guitars, subcategories, they can edit the guitars by clicking here. Okay, they can view the subcategories. Uh, that's actually not too bad. And now we really don't need this table anymore here. So we can take this out. And as you can see, we now have glorious, very simple code here. Uh, I'll just refresh. It's very easily transferable. Uh, we'll be able to use this on other websites and everything. And it's all very, very cool. So on that note, thank you very much. And I'll see you in the next video.